Warning. This channel features sarcasm and jokes. If you are offended by anything, stop being offended. Smile. Oh no, a Russian guy just... At what? How am... Dude, I always lose to this guy. He's 3-0 against me. I can't play Gurevich. I think I'm gonna lose this game too. What do I even play against him? Alright, I'm just gonna play my normal lines. This guy's like 60 years old and he, he, he beats me like a drum every time we play. Uh, I don't understand how it works, but whatever. Actually, when I was in the fair play call, he was there with me. So they obviously determined neither of us is cheating because we both have terrible chess. Um, yeah, I don't know. That, I mean, I don't... Th th my, Dimitri Gurevich, by the way, is a very strong grandmaster. Like, he's always been very, very good. Um, I played him in a classical game once. Did he just hang a pawn? Which is that just a is that just a pawn hang? Bishop f6, queen d6. Did he did he just hang a pawn? Okay. Looks like a pawn hang. This is definitely the best move. And I'm assuming... Um, I guess I can play queen c5 too. I didn't think much of queen c5. Maybe I should play queen g3. Let's go queen g3. Alright, I think I'm just winning. Which is nice. That's always good. Always a welcome development. Doesn't happen to me particularly often. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go... Uh... uh Bishop e2. He's gonna go bishop b7. I thought about this move, which looks pretty funny, but okay, I guess I'm just gonna castle. He'll probably play knight a5 attacking my pawn, and then I will play e5. Uh, yeah. Okay. Probably was a slightly better way to handle this, but... Okay, queen here, knight d4... Should just win. Okay, I think he has to go to g7 or h8. Um, which is bad for him. It's great for me. Go knight d4. Probably come here. I'll take. I don't have to take. I could play queen f4. But do I want my pawn to be... Let's just take... I imagine he will take like this. Yeah. And... Uh, maybe just rook d1. Fight back on the file. f4 is a nice way to hang mate, which I won't. Just play like f4 myself. And just cook him. Take, take. Just completely, completely winning. I just put my king on e3. I play bishop f3. And uh, should be smooth sailing. Nice little, nice little cook and clap. Put my other pawn there. All right. Uh, I guess he's trying to play f6. The question is, do I play something like rook d4? Or I can play rook d6, take, take. No, no, that looks stupid. Let's play f4. Probably not the best move, but I'm too amoeba brain to find the best move. King f2, bishop <coughs> f3. I don't know what the idea of that move is, but... um. Okay. Bring my king to the center. Put a rook somewhere here. Uh... I mean, if he's going to give me that pawn too, I'll happily take it. Rook d6 or rook h1? Question. Is he going to commit all the pawns? Yeah, but I, I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's just go king e2 and, and, and offer a trade into a... What? Okay, do I get a past C pawn or a past A pawn? I'm gonna say past A pawn. Past A pawn it is.
And uh, outside passer. Yeah, I saw this, but um, I don't. I don't think this is gonna cut it. Because now he can't get in. I guess he's trying to go for this pawn. Rook a1, rook c4, a5, rook c2, king d3, rook b2, a6. I guess there's rook a2 there. King d3. Oh, that's annoying. All right. I think my pawn is just too fast. I don't think there's a way to stop it. Like, he might go there. I'm not even going to take. I'm just going to push. I can take any time, but then I'll play king b2, and I'm still winning. He plays b2, rook b1, rook f3, king b2. So, here, a6, b2, rook b1. He can't... Yeah, he doesn't have any backwards access. I just go king b2, and... I'm two squares from queening, so it's an easy win. I just needed to invest fully in the outside pass pawn. Okay, that was my first win against Gurevich. That was a nice win. I'd beat a GM. If you plan to become GM, it might be useful to think you're already a GM. Listen, I just beat a GM with 92% accuracy. Like, you know, I, I, I played my prep. This is all my pretty advanced chessable course. He hung a pawn. And I, I think I converted with really no issues. I mean, I... I thought this was a very masterful job here in the endgame. Uh, did I... By the way, was that the right transition? Yes, it was. So, when he played b4, the correct idea was not to take the pawn. A lot of you may be wondering why I didn't take. It's because... Um, it's actually really creative defense by him. Uh, he would go here, and then weaken three of my pawns, and all of a sudden, it's, it's actually shockingly difficult to win this position. Because to push my pawn, I need my king. But if I keep my king there, I can't move it that way. If I go there, he can take on f4. And then he can take on h4. And then he can trade the pawn. And then he can try to make a draw in the endgame. Uh, so like f6, take, take. If I play king c3, suddenly he's going to start eating all my pawns. And then it's going to be a draw. So this is really interesting. Uh, and, I, and I correctly evaluated that I needed the furthest possible pawn. And uh, rook a1. Rook c1 was bad. I should have just played rook a1 right away because I had to play it anyway. And then, yeah, I just had to count the squares. And I'm just too fast. There's a nice way to screw up everything here and play a6. And uh, a6, rook a2 is heartbreaking. And then, then it's just a draw. I mean, if you take, you're a real idiot. But I'm not that stupid.